two of the big names in English football who've fallen off the pace in this year's Premiership race. The Champions League victors of two seasons ago against the Champions League vanquished of last May. Away we go with Emmanuel Ibue back in the starting lineup for a Premiership match and already under pressure from Peter Crouch who gives away the free kick. has lost out to Couts. Well, he had to improvise, and he did very well. He's done his job there, Peter Crouch. Just a little bit heavy with the touch, but it's a genuine opportunity. Don't really cope with it. Not easy, I'll grant you. But is he capable? He certainly is. This is Fabregas, Gilberto, now fled. Made the angle well. Now, Steven Gerrard. This is Counts. Driven into Peter Grouch. Torre covered it well and blocked it well. Counts, Xabi Alonso, Crouch! Hey, offside. Offside. Oh, it must have been close. Well, they had them on the rack here for these couple of minutes. It's not this one, but does Crouch get out in time? No, he doesn't. Ahead of the ball, therefore the decision is the correct one. Now Fled. Gilberto. Now oh, Van Persie started to move out to the left when Gilberto was looking for a direction down the centre. Good run, Van Persie. It's count strike. Fierce enough. Comfortable save, really. Here's Gilberto. Maria stayed out on the left. Flamini and Van Persie in the middle this time, but he's gone for goal. Great skill. Watch how quickly he does this as he controls it in the chest and flicks it almost all in one movement to open up well it's only half a yard for the shot it's Gonzalez who goes low and it came out as ending clever clever this is Hleb and Fabregas have finally got the ball in the net and Matteo Flamini has only his second ever goal in the Premiership well he'll probably end up getting booked now but that's when people don't understand he just called it his second goal only in the Premiership back in the side his first Premiership start this season of all the midfield players his name would have probably been last as a potential goal scorer but it's a lovely little run from Fleb oh he's borderline isn't he probably just on side it looks borderline whether he's ahead of the ball or not that's the key but the run from Hleb and the pass and then the vision of the little Spaniards to just roll this across and I just wonder is he ahead of Fabregas's pass no he's not there you see it it's another very good decision from the officials it's been long it's been frustrating for the most part from Arsenal but they at last have the breakthrough send it Gonzalez taking on Ibu eight led there covering as well Fabregas has lost that to Xavi Alonso Gerard well they had to take it quick had to take it early never quite gets the contact he wanted here this can happen to Arsenal they're so confident in their own ability Trying to play their way through, but uh, Crouch has lost out to Fabregas, and Fabregas has found Van Persie. Look who's through the middle, it's Colo Torre! Who would have expected to 
see him there, but it's a fine finish. His first goal of the new stadium. Well, for such adventure, they've deserved a little bit of luck. And luck plays a huge part in this goal. Not for him, but for Robin Van Persie. He plays the ball, Tony, and then he keeps running. Now this flick here could have gone anywhere. He got lucky and he kept control of it. But after that, he didn't half slip. Tony, a beautiful through ball just there. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, right, he scuffs it a little bit. He scuffs it through the goalkeeper's legs. And amazing how many go there. The goalkeeper can do nothing about it. The Arsenal manager's a lot happier this weekend. Gerard delivers with a kick. Oh, Zenden goes in with a header. Oh, should he have scored? I think it's that clean a contact on it. Oh. I have to say, he gets in there very comfortably. Is he under any pressure? <coughs> Not a great deal. Might have done better, Bolo's ending. Clichy. Away from Pennant and from Xabi Alonso. It's a good run, this from Clichy. It's a magnificent run. And it's come for the strike from Van Persie. Well, I had some venom in it. What a run, though. Here I see Ashley Cole like. <laughs> Absolutely. Crouch. Count. Xabi Alonso, chance for Gerard. It was dipping. Well, the deflection might have hindered Almunia more than anything. Well, we haven't seen a Liverpool player from midfield do that today. Step into that position and strike it goal. And Percy's corner. Ah, free header for Dallas. And 3 0 Arsenal. Now, there is an inquest going on between Risa and Gerard. I think Risa is blaming his skipper. But certainly, Steven Gerrard was behind Gallas. And where does Gallas come from? Because across the. You know, he just walks across Steven Gerrard. He looks back. One's got Henri, one's supposed to have Gallas. And then they go out that. They're both saying, I've got, Gall I've got Henri. But neither of them have picked up Gallas. Here it comes. Henri's touch and touch tight with Henri. He just walks in behind him. Dreadful marking. Absolutely dreadful. Penance. Looking to get away from uh, Clichy. And he has done. Gerard! And headed in. Offside. No. Yet again. He's offside. He's come very, very late, this flag. I looked down right away. And the flag wasn't up. Then it did go. Right up. All of a sudden, up it went. This is a close call, this is. Really close call. Now keep your eye on Bellamy. He goes in behind. There. Looks. Like, oh, look at the fullback down the bottom here, though. Where is he? Where is he in relation to it? Where is Cliche? Difficult to see from there. He just might well have played him on. Not for the second time today, lines are slagged in eyes Liverpool. Carragher in trouble. Adebayo with a clean run at goal unless Risa can get back. Oh, what a chance. I thought Liverpool were out of this race for a while now. This, I think, just confirms it. Well, a much happier day for Arsene Wenger after the defeat at West Ham. His side are up to third place in the table here, giving him plenty to crow about. But for Liverpool, the troubles and the travel sickness continue. That's five away games on the top now, which they've been defeated in the Premiership.